Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm not really going to be doing much in this video except talking. I'm just going to be talking about GPT 5.1 Codex. Now, a lot of people are saying that 5.1 is a massive upgrade on 5. The reason being is obviously they're out of the race right now and nobody is really considering OpenAI compared to something like Sonnet. However, as we all know, the day that a new model is released, right? So this is the 13th of November. What basically happens is the model is extremely good, extremely good, extremely good, possibly the best ever. And you've got about two weeks, right? So until maybe, let's say, the 30th of November, until the model basically is just completely decimated by whatever the hell happens, whatever the hell they do. We're not actually sure what this is. Personally, or I personally think that it's distillation. What they do is they release a slightly worse version of the same model in secret without telling people, probably due to kind of CPU, GPU power and their servers basically blowing up wherever they're, where, wherever their servers are, right? So what I'm saying to you today is you, you officially have the best system in the world for about two weeks to build with. Now, if you actually go on Visual Studio Code and we can restart Codex OpenAI's coding assistant, we should be able to select GPT 5.1. So Codex just got better with GPT 5.1 Codex. We've upgraded our family of models supported in Codex to GPT 5.1, 5.1 Codex, and 5.1 Codex Mini. So this is actually a massive update, not necessarily because this is a huge model or game changer or anything like that, but specifically because of this logic right here. For the first two weeks, especially now that OpenAI is out the race, right? Most people are using Claude Code over Codex. If you ask 99% of developers, they will say that they're using Claude Code over Codex. However, for this two weeks, I would actually advise people to use Codex over Claude Code because the model that has just been released is currently at its most powerful. So if you actually look at Open Router here, we can see that GPT 5.1 Codex is a specialized version of GPT 5.1. It has 400,000 context as well, which is actually pretty good. It's optimized for software engineering coding workflows. It is designed for both interactive development sessions and long independent execution of complex engineering tasks. I talked about this in Codex last time I talked about Codex. It actually really, really impressed me with its ability to think and run for a very, very long and in uninterrupted execution basically what that means is being able to run for an hour two hours on its own without going back to the user or input just before we continue guys just so you know there is a link in the description of this video currently we are looking for a few more mvp slash prototype slash full builds with me and my dev team behind me for the last quarter of 2025 and also the first quarter of 2026 especially with this update to Codex 5.1. We really, really want to sink our teeth into a new project. So if you want to come and talk to us, first link in the description of this video, come and talk to us today. Book a call, this one here, I'll build your SaaS slash dev project. It'll be me and my team. And yeah, we're looking for a few more projects. Okay, so let's continue here. The model supports building projects from scratch, feature development, debugging, large scale refactoring, and code review. Compared to GPT 5.1, so instead of GPT 5.1, but GPT 5.1 Codex, which is the model that is specific for Codex, Codex is more steerable, adheres closely to developer instructions, and produces cleaner, higher quality code outputs. So if I'm not mistaken, guys, if you go on settings, there should be some kind of setting where you can set its memory. So the way that you actually do set this, guys, is when you open a new folder, if you create an agents.md file, that is actually how you basically do the memory. And a lot of people are saying that Codex 5.1, or sorry, GPC 5.1, is extremely good at following its memory, right? I will be testing this, guys. In the next couple of videos, I'll do a Next.js um, service website build, like I always do, but I will also do a WordPress build. Basically, last time I used Codex, it was absolutely terrible at following its agents.md folder or file. This time, I have a feeling it's going to be significantly better, meaning that you can much more easily steer 
what you want GPT 5.1 Codex to actually do. Codex integrates into developer environments, including the CLI, IDE extensions, GitHub, and CloudTax, blah, blah, blah. We all know what uh, GPT 5.1 Codex actually does. So let's just try something here. I'm just going to add an agents.md, and I'm just going to say reply to me in pirate in pirate speech and then save that let's just go to codex close this and say hi how are you today so this is quite an important test to be honest with you i will double check that this is how you do its memory oh it is perfect this is actually a massive update guys because previously codex was absolutely terrible at following its own agents.md file. This is a big change, I'm telling you, okay? Because you can more easily create custom codex things, right? So for example, you guys might remember on my GitHub, right? There is my WordPress generator, right? I'll just go on my school community because I know that I've got it somewhere on my school community. Here, my WordPress generator, right? I tried the same thing with agents.md. You can actually see there is the agents.md file right here. It didn't work at all. They didn't follow a single instruction inside this document. So I'd be extremely interested to see if that is now different. We could actually just quickly do that. I'm not gonna do it right now, but you could very easily just clone this repo and say, make me a uh, directory on whatever, and then see if Codex has the ability now to actually properly follow instructions. GBT 5.1 is now available on Open Router, which is like general availability. I was checking for this specifically because I was waiting for the Codex update. For me, the most important thing is actually the Codex update, nothing else. I don't really care about GPT 5.1. That's why I didn't make a video about it. I just don't care. I'm not a big fan of GPT models generally, but I am a fan of Codex, right? I, I Honestly, it's it's as good as, if not better, than Claude Code sometimes, right? Not always, but sometimes, depending on what you're working on. So this is actually a really, really nice update. This is what I've been waiting for because, yeah, I, I really like Codex, basically. I'll be doing a few more experiments with Codex 5.1. But like I said, if you need to build something, now's the time, guys. Stop watching this video, get the fuck off YouTube, and start building whatever you've had in your brain for the last few weeks. Because when there's an update like this, the best time to build is right now. Another thing, due to limits, ChatGPT right now, OpenAI, they're trying to poach users from Claude. They don't really care about cost, they care about users. Every single user that they take from Claude Code could be worth thousands of dollars for them just because it raises their valuation as a company the more users that they have of their products, right? So right now, they do not care about cost, right? So their limits will probably be very, very generous compared to normal. So if you do want to build something, guys, now's the time. Stop procrastinating. Stop watching YouTube. Start building. I'm going to leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. Check out the links in the description if you want to join the school or if you want your MVP or your idea built by me and my team. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.